So tonight, I'm always excited with Huddle, but tonight I'm excited because we have our beautiful partner of the month, Hazel. I'm so, so proud of you, beautiful lady, because just so everyone knows, I don't know if you're all aware, but Hazel's only 21. And I know when you're young, um, you know, building a business is not something that you always think about. So I, and I know Hazel, just seeing how much she has grown, has just over the last, God, has it even been a year yet, Hayes? Has it been a year since you've been in the business? Not quite. It's been nearly a year and a half. Nearly, wow, so it's wow. been over a year. So just watching her grow has blown me away. And, you know, she's just really, really a lot of your journey has been about growing into yourself, hasn't it, Hazel? You know, just yep. standing strong in who you are. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to spotlight you, honey. No. And I'm just going to ask you some questions. Um, and I just want to say too that Hazel's really nervous. Um, she doesn't like being on the camera too much. But one thing that I've noticed about you over the last couple of months is that you are putting yourself in front of the camera a lot more. And I, this just shows you growing. So. And I, I know that your mum can vouch for that when she sees you really emerging, you know, become standing really strong in who you are. So we're all really proud of you. So if anyone's got any questions for Hazel, just pop them in the chat and we can ask her as we go along. But first of all, Hazel, bring it on. Teamwork is the dream work, says Karen. And she's a little old, little, what is that little top queen? A TikTok queen. Oh, is she? <laughs> that's, no. all right. that's all right hazel honey do you want to just tell us do you want to just tell us where you were when you first started before you started this business what was happening in your life and how how were you feeling about yourself um not much was happening in my life <laughs> um i used to sleep a lot i had chronic fatigue and couldn't really function about 20 hours out of the general day um so i was yeah basically getting up to try to eat and shower and maybe socialize a little bit with my family and was back in bed pretty quickly usually um and then yeah leading up to finding juice plus that was pretty much how life was um and then mum found the cats for me and I got on them and things were doing a lot better once I got on the caps and I just thought that realistic was something that I needed further into my life. Yeah. So, cause I know you had an amazing health transformation, didn't you? Um, yeah. So when I first started taking the caps, the very first time I took the caps, I actually, um, managed to pretty much go straight out and take the dogs for a big walk with mum and then I think I stayed up the rest of that evening till <laughs> till dinner time and had dinner with my family before getting to bed and actually just being able to go to bed rather than collapsing and passing out somewhere and like falling asleep somewhere on the couch or something before dinner was even ready amazing amazing i know and you know i know your mum talks about this a lot but about how you used to she used to come home and see you cooking meals sometimes which is something that you never did so you know the, the capsules gave you that energy um and that desire to want to to actually eat food and do more for yourself didn't it yeah so before i before finding the caps and the program and the products and everything i actually um I wasn't, I was, I was technically, I, I was, I was in eating disorder care. I was um, diagnosed as ADNOS, which is eating disorder, not otherwise specified. Um, and they had put that down to stress. And, and basically I just would go into a state when I was stressed where I, I wouldn't remember to eat and I'll be the first to admit that. But um the biggest part about it was I didn't I didn't have the energy to cook for myself. Half the time I didn't even have the energy to chew. Like 
realistically the easiest thing to get in was something that was liquid whether it was soaps or smoothies or whatever but most of the time I couldn't even do that for myself so mum would be having to be home most of the time to cook for me and make sure that I got food and make sure that I didn't just put the bowl down and fall back asleep or something like that um and then yeah after I found the caps and the it was actually the program more than anything because there's a lot of amazing recipes in there that really inspired me to want to cook. Mm. Um, but once I found everything, I just, I started being, having the energy and being able to find things I wanted to eat that I could make myself. And then I kind of went from there and mum would come home and I would, should be shocked because I would just be in the kitchen cooking and usually she'd have to come home and should find me not having eaten all day passing in and out of consciousness and she'd be like oh crap okay now I need to now I need to get this girl some food but yeah it started to change slowly most of it and I know it took a bit a little bit for you to actually even want to be part of our local events and jump onto our trainings and things too didn't it you know it took a while for you to sort of come out of yourself a little bit you were, you were think- very self-conscious weren't you for a long time I was in the business for over a year before anyone really started seeing my face. Yeah. Yeah, I do remember that. So tell me, Hazel, why did you say yes to this business, honey? Because you obviously knew that you had to put yourself out there on social media. So this would have been huge for you. Why did you say yes? Because mum was so sure she wanted to give it to me as my birthday present. <laughs> nah, um, because I knew that it was it was good for more than just me I had friends I have so many friends with so many health issues that I mean most of them haven't jumped on but I wish they would I wish they would and I know that um with me being having access to it it gives them access to it when they choose to want to act I guess is more than anything my main motive was just to have the access there for people that I mean I've heard so many people turn around and just be like I want fruit and veggies, but I don't want to eat them. Or I want, I wish they were easier to get, or I wish that I could get them in a capsule, or things like that. And we have, we have that. I can now offer them that if this, if that's seriously what they want, they've got access to it. Mm. Mm, I love that. That's something that I just heard so much of my life, and then I found them. <laughs> I have, and that was something that really. Um, blew me away with you when you first started because you got a lot of customers on to start with and you you would just talk to your friends so you you really wanted to help all your friends I know you had a lot of friends who were suffering and one of the things you said to to your mum and I was that I just want to help my friends I just want all my friends on on these products you know because they're so good and you know that was something that Hazel was really good at was reaching out and talking to them having conversations with them I know that you know within your first what six months you brought on um, Rachel as a as a partner Didn't yeah it, it was within your first six months anyway and and you yeah know, and this is someone who didn't really like the idea of putting herself out there so what is it what was your motivation was it because you just wanted to help them well yeah it was it was the fact that they were fruit and vegetables in a pill and I knew that that was gonna change a lot of people's lives Mm. yeah have you any have you seen many changes in your friends that you um put on I have a lot of friends who want to stay want to be at my house a lot more because I've got the jobs and they love the taste of them and they love what they do to them and they want to eat them um (laughs) but no like an actual fact even I take just my juice class. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes, I know you do. <laughs> um, no, an actual fact. Are, are you with Desi? I am with Desi. Oh, hi, Desi. I have noticed a lot of changes in the friends of mine that do, are on juice class and in my family. I mean, even Desi alone, just the amount that she wants to be up and out is more than when I first met her. A mm. lot more. Um, she's got a lot more energy to her, and she's just looking healthier everything about her I mean when I first met her and I didn't really notice it but I kind of did sorry Des you're good um (laughs) but she she would have quite pink cheeks a lot she just would get very flush a lot and she said it to me one day that 
she'd had some issues with her cheeks and she wasn't she didn't particularly like blush on people because of the fact that she'd had so many issues with her cheeks being so pink all the time that it kind of felt like a punch in the face which is fair enough um and I've noticed since her being on Juice Plus she just doesn't have any of the coloring that she was so self-conscious of or that she aware of that wasn't a big thing for anyone else but it was obviously something that was yeah, I don't wear makeup much no no that's great to see that was that that's been a massive one just with Desi was sitting directly in front of me mm, <laughs> but that's great that's really good love that and you know it does and tell me Hazel what keeps you going what keeps you here is it that you see those really good results in people or is it more than that it's that I see the really good results in people, and I know it's good for people, but more than anything, I actually think it's the family I've found in Juice Plus, and the friends, and just the life. It's, I've, my life's not what it was before. I mean, I've got friends, but I don't, I didn't have, like, a family of friends that I could just be with, and do the girly shit with and sorry language but do all the girly stuff with and just have fun with without ever worrying about the dramas or the backlash or the this or the that and I've definitely found a lot of a family in that I mean even the two teamies that I've brought on that we weren't friends before we met pretty much through this like yes it was through me introducing them to the to it all but we didn't know each other well or anything and now I've just got a family with everyone that is around me with Juice Plus and it makes a big difference to my life I think mm, and that's so true we all love you we Especially all love you we do and and I just want to say Kieran she's saying baby girl we got you just be authentic you we love it I saw that and Kieran you're amazing and I love you to pieces <laughs> and you're one of the pages that keep me here Mm, that's so cool that's so cool honey community is everything eh it really is it's so good so have you had any moments where you've felt like oh shit why am I doing this this is too hard I nearly re re um redo well yeah reinstate myself at one year because I wasn't I wasn't sure in all honesty I was a little bit iffy at that point because I hadn't put myself out there. I hadn't actually really begun my journey with it. I just had the business at my fingertips. I didn't, I guess, realise how little I was putting in until I did realise. And then I was like, oh, no, I, ne I need this still. I can't, I can't give up. And yeah, that was, that was probably on the one year. I think I'd just gotten my notifications for it. And I was like, Oh, do I really want to, I really want to pay to redo that. And then I was like, actually, yeah, no, the money's nothing. Hmm. It's everything that I get with that. And the fact that I do still, if I, as soon as I reinstate that, I have my business to continue to grow and it is my business. That is what it is. Hmm. You feel proud of that. The fact that this is yours. And yep. what you've put in is what you get rewarded for. Yeah. yeah. And do you know that, Hazel? Because I know that when we talked earlier in our little chat group and you kept saying all you keep thinking about is how awesome your mum is, but do you know how awesome you are? Do you Again. know that it's, it's yes, your mum's really helped you, but do you know that a lot of it's come from you, that you doing the work? Yeah. And all honesty, yes, I do know that. I just, I look at it and I just see mum. She's just, she's the whole reason I'm here. Yeah, well, true, true. She is the whole reason you're here. You definitely wouldn't be in this life without your mum. But <laughs> yeah, and I know she introduced you to the capsules and to the business, honey. But, you know, I, I really loved watching you blossom. So when you said that you really, you know, when the renewal came up and you weren't sure that you were wanted to do it because, you know, but you also realised that you didn't put enough work into it or time into it or effort into it. Yeah. So has that changed for you? Do you feel like you're doing more now than you were? 
definitely. I mean, I'm still not as there as I would like to be. I would like to be a lot more like active daily, but I've, I'm definitely putting in the weekly work more than I ever had. And do you, um, do you know that's why you've got the success that you've got? Uh, the success always comes after I put the work in. So yeah, I definitely do see that. Yeah. So, and I just want to, for anyone who doesn't know, you, uh, you probably have to be living under a rock to not know, but Hazel qualified her business for the first time this month. And last month she got senior partner. So she's got senior partner and then qualified in the next month. So, you know, this isn't just, this isn't just, you know, little bits and, and over time, this is actually, it's almost like you made a decision, Hazel, and you realized what was on the table for you and you're just, you went for it. Because I remember our messages and, you know, saying to you, look, do you know, do you know that you could get this, Hazel? All you need is this. And you're like, oh my God, really? Wow. And you, you were amazed that you were that close and that's all you needed to do. And I know between you and your mum, you both worked together to help you get senior partner and then to help you qualify. So, yeah. so what did you do? Tell us what you did in those last couple of months to get those two promotions. Do you remember? What did you do that was different that you hadn't been doing over the last year? Oh, I might be cutting out. Oh. You're back. You're back. Um, sorry, someone just tried to call me. Um, oh. What have you been over the past few months for that? Um, honestly, just... Sorry, my mind's just decided to blank itself. Um, my biggest one has been checking my Facebook notifications daily because I am, and as you know, Tanya, I'm really, really not good at actually checking my notifications and being present on social media, um, which has been my biggest, I think, struggle with trying to push myself into the business is really being present with social media. Um, but yeah, over the last couple of months, I've been trying really hard to check my, my notifications and actually see what's, there that I need to know um I've been trying to connect with at least three to five people every day or so on social media whether that's people like just really nice aesthetic Instagram accounts that I'm like hey you you actually look like you could jump into this and it might be something that would really interest you um or whether that's people on Facebook groups that I'm part of, because I'm part of quite a few eating disorder groups and um, growing, like, anxiety and depression and just growing up and going through shit groups. Sorry, my language isn't good. Don't worry about your language. It's all good. Um, so but, yeah, I try, to, I try really hard to just connect with at least a couple of people a day that I don't know who don't know about me don't know about what I do don't know about this and try to just say hi and kind of offer up what we do have and if see, see what they know or yeah, yeah kind of go that way about things that's great honey so you're actually inviting people to look at the product to look at the business that's what you're doing yeah. right yeah that's so good and I know that you use mostly insta don't you yeah, I, I am better off on Insta than Facebook. Yeah, yeah. And I, but I, and I do know as well, for anyone who's done Marina's training, um, Marina had, we, we had a whole lot of verbiage from her around Instagram and looking for influencers. So when Hazel was talking about before, about reaching out to people, that's what she's using. So she's using Marina's um, template verbiage and she's reaching out to people saying, hey, I love your profile. Looks like, you know, you are really good at this or you could be a really good influencer. Are you interested? And you're actually getting people saying, hey, I'll have a look, aren't you? Yeah, I, think I, was, I was just saying it to Tammy the other day. I was really shocked that of the first six invites that I sent out like that, I actually had one person come back to me, say she was interested, make it through the whole script that I had before turning around or uh, watching the video at the end, turning around and going, actually, this just isn't for me. I'm not interested in this right now. It's not for me right now. 
and I was I got a really polite reply back at the end and I was actually really um, pleased and kind of surprised to notice that of the first six people that I've messaged I had at least had one person fully respond and engage with what I was offering mm. and that's great so just just want to add in there that for any of you that feel like you're too scared to actually reach out and invite people most people actually don't see it as an issue they actually are appreciate the fact that you've even looked at them and asked them that you're even thinking about them so but and obviously it's easier on instagram than it is on facebook facebook's all about connecting people making friends building relationships you re people want to know you before that you send a message like that but with insta it's different isn't it hazel is that why you find it easier to use because you don't have to build a relationship with them i think that is something that i do like particularly about it is yeah that there's on facebook i feel like i have to connect with the person and get to know who they are and what they want and all of that side of things but on instagram it is more of a i can just message you and be like hey you look really awesome like do you want to check out what i've got whereas on facebook i feel like it's more of a personal yeah thing yeah. I, don't, I don't know yeah you, you they have to know you and trust you right it's a little bit different yeah I'm, I, yeah I, I totally know where you're coming from so you know i mean and that's huge in itself hazel the fact that you're actually reaching out inviting which is not something i mean like you wouldn't have done that in the first year right and i think ha rachel was someone who you reached out about the program about didn't you and the products and she was interested in the business rachel was a funny one i was actually trying to tell dizzy this story before um but when i first messaged rachel she was a friend of a friend and I can't actually remember why I decided she needed the product. Something came up and I, I messaged her out of nowhere and I was just like, hey, like, let's be friends. Okay, so you need this. <laughs> and she was just like, I don't want to hear anymore. Just send it to me. And sent me all her account details and everything and, and just got me to send her the product. And I was quite like, oh, okay. I wasn't um, wow. Well, okay, this person <laughs> is very straight, straight, straight to the point and just wants their stuff. Yeah. Um, but she obviously knew what was good. And then mm. I think it was two or three weeks after she got on the product, I was like, so what are you thinking? And she's like, I really like this. And I was like, so I've got this business opportunity. Do you want to join me? And she was like, yep, I'm keen. Sign me up. I was like, you not want to hear about it? And she was like, no, nah, I don't want to hear anything. I yeah. just signed up. You don't get many people like that. I think, I think Rachel was very unique. But it's great. It really it was good for you, wasn't it? It was your first teamy, and you learnt a lot from her. So, yeah. so tell me, honey, and I guess that's I know it's a question that you struggled with when I asked you a little bit before, or you're challenged with, I should say. What do you think you've learnt the most when you think about when you first started and how much you've changed? I don't know. Do you think you've learnt not to care about what people think? Oh yeah, actually that's that's a big one for me. Is not caring so much about what people think because like just through the products and through fully believing in the products and knowing their worth. Anyone who tries to bring me down about them, I'm just like, well, you just don't know. Like, that's okay. You're allowed to have your opinion. But you just don't know. <laughs> like, I, I, obviously, I don't. I don't approach them like that. I'm much more yeah. like about approaching them. But like, for me, I know the worth of these products. And for someone to sit there in front of me and be like, "No, you don't know what you're talking about," it, it just doesn't affect me anymore. And that can happen in almost any aspect of my life now. And if I know that I'm actually genuinely adamant about something and, and I believe in something a hundred percent then I'm not even going to argue it. Like, you can you can want, want it or you cannot, but my offer's here. Mm. I love that. That you don't I've, get, you don't get, you're not too attached to the outcome either, are you? You know, if they, ha if they take it, they take it. And if they don't, they don't. I've had friends who have chosen to leave my side because of the fact that I'm doing Juice Plus, because they 
don't like it or can't handle it or don't want to hear about it or whatever their reason is. And I've accepted that as well because at the end of the day, it's not for everyone and this lifestyle is not for everyone. And I'm, I'm just going onwards and upwards. And if people want to join me, they can. If people want to join me and not join me in Juice Plus, they can. But if they don't want to come onwards and upwards in life with me, then that's, that's the direction I'm going. They're the ones that are missing out. I mean, who wouldn't want to hang with you? Come on. <laughs> hey, Dizzy. <Hey. laughs> she agrees, see? We all agree. And I definitely think that Juice Plus as a whole and the team and everything have just taught me to care about myself a lot more. Care about my, even just my space and what goes inside me and just everything. Every aspect of my life I think more about and I care more about these days. I think that's massively due to the actual soul tribe itself. The community? The community and even just you, like just the way you run things and the everything. (laughs) <laughs> just just Aww. life around the soul tribe is different to life without it that's great honey so it gives you something positive and inspiring yeah yeah well that's great well we're so pleased to have you here Thank you. no we really are we really are you're just such a valuable member of the team you really are I'm just so proud of you and I know I, I'm speaking I can probably speak for your mum as well because I know how proud of you she is and of course she's your mum and she, you know she says that but I know you know we've had conversations about you your ears were probably burning but you know just about how as a person you are coming out of yourself as a young woman you are emerging you know it's not just about you being your mum's daughter anymore it's about you being your unique self and sharing your unique gifts with the world and being confident in doing that and believing enough in yourself that you can do that and you are doing that every day yeah so it's just awesome so you know thinking about young women you know your age or around your age um you know if if there's anyone that you feel is watching this um what would you say to them if they were kind of considering being part of our tribe or trying the products what would you what would what would be the advice that you'd give them just just do it i mean if they were feeling like you were when you first came in you know think about where you were at and because you you yeah if it wasn't um, your mum, you probably wouldn't have said yes right um honestly if it wasn't for mum I probably wouldn't have in the beginning but for anyone who is seriously actually considering and thinking about it I reckon I say just do it just jump into it you've got nothing to lose and the reality of it is for a whole year you've got a business at your fingertips that you can you can play with it's yours what's good about your pitch is you don't try and sell it <laughs> I love you, but yes. Um, but yeah, like at the end of the day, it's it's something that you've got at your fingertips. You've got no obligations to anyone else. You don't have a boss to follow. If you don't want to do anything, you don't have to do anything. But if you want to get somewhere and you want to actually play this business, like you know, play the game with this business as as it is, then follow, jump in, and just follow the videos and just play the game <laughs> play with us <laughs> give it a go away eh? yeah give it a go anyway you know and I'd... again for anyone who's actually in the business and really feel like they're challenged especially if they're younger because i know and and tell me you know you can correct me if you're wrong i mean i the, you know you know i turned 50 so it was a long time ago that i was your age but i do remember are you still there Hayes? Oh, we might have lost her, damn it. Um, has anyone got any questions that you want to ask Hazel? I think we've lost her. Anyone got any fr- any questions for her? We might have lost her, maybe her phone's died. Damn, such a shame. Hopefully she'll pop back. (sighs) 
anyone got any questions um, for her and we can ask her, she, yeah, she's gone. Um, and we can ask her later if you want to ask her anything. Isn't she amazing? Come off mute if you want to. Such a proud mummy moment, eh, hey, Tammy? Yeah, that was incredible. <laughs> Uh, from the girl that we were talking to about 10 minutes ago that was I like know. oh no oh no oh no i can't do it i can't do it <laughs> she was freaking out honestly she was freaking yeah. out wasn't she tammy she was freaking out and i'm like you you know and i said we've got your back and you keep supporting her and i honestly didn't think she'd come on yeah yeah she's just amazing you never know you just never know with her she's unpredictable sometimes out and sometimes down and yeah, I, I was really impressed. I was surprised, really pleased. An amazing, amazing woman. Yeah. I really just wanted to ask her what her what her take on was, you know, for anyone who's challenged in the business. For, you know, obviously her age is different. Our, her challenges are different to, to my age group. Um, but, yeah, we didn't get that question answered, but that's okay. I think she did really well. Has any, anyone got else got any other questions you want to ask her? I just wanted to say I thought she was so inspiring, you know, in terms of like, she's just quite authentic as well. I love the way she's just very natural and like, and the journey that she's had. Wow. She's come a long way, really. And how the products helped her, you know, it's just, it makes you sort of really just gives you that other level of belief in the products that you're sharing with others. You know, it's lovely to hear her story. So, yeah, she's, mm -hmm. she's brilliant, I think. Uh, yeah, hats so off to her today. I think she did great. You talked to her, did you? No, I said hats off to her. I think she did really yeah. great. Today. Yeah, she did. Yeah, really great. I, I just got a message from them saying that, yes, her phone died. And I think Destiny is desperately trying to download Zoom quickly. Oh. <laughs> 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 so they're having a little flap in the background now, sorry. Oh, that's yeah. lovely. That's all right. Tell her not to worry too much. Maybe you could ask her the question, actually, through Desi, Tammy. Can you just ask her if she can um, even voice message it? through to you what she would say to anyone who is finding themselves challenged in the business, particularly, you know, around her age group. Okay. Because that's really all I was going to ask her and anything else that she wanted to add. Um, sorry, question is anything she wants to. Any advice she wants to add? Okay. Yeah, that'd okay. be good. To people challenged as well. Yeah, and Kat said um, that would be good. So that would be helpful. Yeah, just like when things are gone sort of rough and you're just, and just sort of trying to get back into it again. Yep, yep. Did you get that, Tammy? Yeah, we kind of had the discussion earlier on today, didn't we, Tammy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Where to get started again. Where to get yeah. motivated. Yeah. It's normal, Kat. It's normal. Those ups and downs are just a normal part of life. They're also a normal part of this business. And what we find is when we have those down times, it's always time for us to grow. It's always those times when we need to go within and ask yourself, okay, what is it I need to do right now? What is important for me to learn right now? what part of me needs to grow um, to be able to move forward. You, and you'll find it's one of those times where you've got the onion skins, you know, that got to peel back another onion skin. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, did, I didn't mean, I didn't mean to do that to the business. It just kind of happened that way, but. It's also in the beginning, it's very overwhelming and it is, it's actually emotionally a little bit exhausting because there's just a lot to take in, a lot of information. And I felt the same, like there's a lot, to look at and I had to just go away and kind of process it. So it's really, really hard to just jump in and be awesome at something that you've like literally just encountered. Yeah. So, I, you know, I, th yeah, you're I think you're too, there. there's someone coming in, that must be Hazel. I think too, maybe Kieran can help answer this question. Cause I know mm. for you, Kieran, when you first started, you felt like it was all mostly growth, wasn't it? for you as well and it took a while for your business to take off do you do you mind sharing that hi Hayes we lost you we just will grab you in a sec did you get the questions from your mum yeah 
Okay, I'll just get Kieran to answer to, um, Kat's question, then we'll jump you on back on again. Is that okay, okay. Kieran? Kat, uh, I'm one of the slow burners, not somebody who's um, taken come in and taken off. And for me, um, it, it's a year and a half of personal development and just doing the best you can. And so the advice I would say to you is please do not be really hard on yourself or compare yourself to others. And it, that comparison um, category is really easy to fall into and go down the rabbit hole. Um, when you do have days like that, just any one of the team, me, Tanya, Tammy, whoever, we are more than happy just to, to get on and listen. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm still going through those moments. And I've been in what, 18 months? It'll be two years, I think, in December. Um, so it's really about how you handle that and how you grow. Um, normally what I have found, like when you're going through these really challenging moments is that's when you're actually needing to push yourself because you're, you're leveling up is what I like to call it and, and growing more. So when you, it is true, like Tammy said, when you first started, it's like, holy fuck i haven't got my curly hair out at the moment what the hell am i doing <laughs> um so it's just take a pause step back know that you're in it it's also the long game it is not some people are really blessed and really lucky and they just launch instantaneously but saying that they also have to do the personal development and the personal growth on the other side as well there is no way of getting out of personal growth so yeah i think for Just me for when you. i started it's like oh wow this is awesome let's go let's try and get like let's try and get heaps of customers and then build myself up and yeah yeah so, and you need to know that that weight just sort of hit me and so yeah it was like the universe saying to you hang on a minute cat you actually can't do this you need to do other stuff first you know what I mean? Because you had those obstacles come up, didn't you? You know, you had the Facebook issues and you had a whole lot of stuff. But remember, you're growing personally too on a different level. So this is just something else that you're adding to grow with it. So when mm. you're growing on a personal level, you're growing into your business as well. You know, because you cannot grow without this business. You have to grow to be part of this business. So everything that you are doing right now is so valuable. And the beauty of this business is you can take as long as you want. It doesn't matter how long it takes you to get a few customers because you've got, you know, you've got time on your side and you've got support to grow. And, you know, you've got so many trainings and personal development opportunities in here. Use those for your own personal growth. And you'll yeah. find that as you, as you do the work that you need to do on your business, and you grow yourself and you do them both together, you'll find that things will start happening for you. And you'll, you know, this pendulum will swing back up. So, been great what you shared. Thank you so much, Kieran. I knew you'd have gold to share, honey. Thank no you. Problem. So, Hazel, honey, do you want to, are you happy to share? I'm going to spotlight you again so we can all see you. Are you happy to share, um, you know, anything else that you have, any advice that you have for anybody? advice yeah have you got any advice for anyone so if anyone's feeling a bit challenged in um, the business yep what would be your advice morning, everybody just a quick one from me whilst i am just starting off on my right that's all right that's um, yep. um I guess just like, if you're not sure, check like verbiage and everything, just check with your upline, don't not post. Post it, but check with your upline first. Cause usually the verbiage that I've been most um, not sure about posting and not sure about getting out there or sending to someone has actually been the closest to correct. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. And I think one thing we can say about you, Hazel, is you're very teachable. Hazel is someone who will always ask questions. She'll always, so we have a chat set up with her and Tammy and myself. 
and she'll always pop questions in there. Hey, how's this, ladies? Is this okay? What do you think? Is this the right thing to say, or what do I say here? And you know, it's been what over a year, eighteen months, and she's still asking questions. So that's gold, Tammy. Being um, Hazel, being being teachable, definitely. Any other advice, as, honey? Um, but also trusting yourself too, eh? That's the other thing you said. Yeah. Trusting yourself, like, yes, check your verbiage, but, I mean, nine times out of ten, if you think that it feels like the right thing to send, it probably is. Um, One of the that, things... That's down to trusting your, trusting your own gut. Yeah, one of the things that they say... It's that, your business. Yeah, that My Simon Chan says is you can't say the wrong thing to the right person and the right thing to the wrong person. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Anything else, honey? Have fun and make it your own. Make it your business. I love that. It's, it's, it's your adventure. It's no one else's. I love that. That's great. Thank you so much, honey. Thank you so much. Thank any, you. Anyone else want to um, ask Hazel any questions? Kat, were you okay? Did you want to ask her anything? Or you've got um, your question answered, really, haven't you? Yeah. Okay. I guess. Oh yeah. No. I guess. No. I guess I just. Yeah. Just go learn to have a bit more fun, really, don't I? <laughs> yes. Have fun. Yes, it's your business. It's not Tanya's or mine or Tammy's or anyone else's. It's yours. Yeah. Yeah. We're just here to help. Yeah. Perfect advice. Well, thank you so much, beautiful, and for jumping back on. Thank you for saving her, Dizzy. <laughs> we, really, we, we really appreciate it, honey. It's a shame we can't see you. Do you want to pop your head around so we can say hello to you so the team can see your face? Hi! Hi. <laughs> yeah. So Desi is one of is one of Tammy's team members, but yeah, we don't see much of her. All right, I'm gonna cancel this. Yeah, like I said, I didn't get seen for the first year nearly. Yeah, yeah. We'll get there. Desi will get there. Absolutely, she will. Awesome. Okay, well, thanks everybody.